Hello and good morning from the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It's day two, I'm Ryan Alexander, and today I'm gonna to be taking you on a walkthrough of a 96-foot Hargrave Sky Lounge motor yacht first delivered in 2005. Over the years, Awesome Dream has undergone two extensive refits that have served her very well. The first refit was in 2012 and then again in 2017, where her owner gutted and replaced all of the AV equipment, overhauled the navigation systems, and relacquered the vast majority of the interior. Additionally, in 2004, her AC system was replaced. This captain maintained motor yacht is turnkey and ready to go. And due to the extensive investment of her current owner, this 96 Hargrave rivals any Hargrave on the water. Awesome Dream is listed centrally with Kurt Bosshart, one of my favorite people in the world. His character has been proven time and again to serve anyone that he works with. Kurt is a guy that you want to build your team around. Let's jump into it and kick things off here on the swim platform. With a Euro-style transom and teak decks, the swim platform is most appreciated when at anchor. From here, you can step on and off your tender for afternoons on the beach. Forward is a watertight door that leads directly into the engine room. In the engine room are a pair of CAT C30s. Also found in here is a Northern Lights gen set, each unit generating 33 kilowatts. On the port side are a pair of sea recovery water makers. Each of her cat engines generates 1,550 horsepower, giving her a cruise speed of 12 knots and a top speed of 20. At 12 knots, with generators running, she burns only 45 gallons of fuel per hour. Our next stop is the aft deck. With a built-in settee, high gloss table, and seating for eight, this alfresco dining area has been a guest favorite since the day she was commissioned. On the starboard side is a ladder that leads up to the flybridge. This brings us to the salon. From here on out, you'll start to see what's possible when an owner spares no expense and a captain runs a proverbially tight ship. With bone white carpet and custom seating, this salon might be better described as a lounge. The cherry millwork found throughout gives a classic touch to a contemporary interior. On the port side is a wet bar with everything you need to entertain your guests. Forward of this is the salon seating. To starboard is a 52 inch flat screen. Forward into port is the yacht's formal dining with cantaloupe lighting that changes colors. Across from here is the day head. Now we're going to head downstairs and make our way into the master stateroom. This owner's suite is stunning. A lot of crisp lines and a lot of light. On the port side is a love seat. Just forward is a large closet. Opposite to starboard, there's a desk. The master also has a generous his and hers ensuite. Between the two vanities is a glass shower, as well as a tub. Forward into port is a twin stateroom with a side-by-side -side configuration. This stateroom, like all of the guest accommodations, has an ensuite. On the opposite side of the companionway is a queen stateroom. Leaving here, finally, we come to the forward VIP. This stateroom features a king berth. Wrapping up down here and heading back up to the main deck, let's continue into the galley. 
Hargrave's signature country kitchen has such a timeless feel. Everything wraps around a centerline island, and there's room enough for multiple people to be working in here at the same time. Let's start with appliances. First, we have a full-size fridge freezer. Next to this is a four-burner cooktop and a Miele oven. Outboard is her sink and a dishwasher. In the island is a Miele microwave convection oven and an ice maker. Opposite to starboard, we see a large prep area. Under the countertop is a wine cooler. Rounding out the galley, there's this large U-shaped settee. From here, follow me down into the crew space. First, we arrive at a lounge area in a set of washer dryers. There are crew bunks forward in the bow. Attached is a crew head with a shower stall. This head is shared with the captain's quarter. Directly overhead of the crew area is the bow that has a ton of lounging space. There's a large centerline sun pad and bench style seating just forward. And then all the way forward on the bow is the ground tackle. Now we're gonna head up to the Sky Lounge, accessing it from the salon. I love this area because it has such a timeless, classic yacht feel. On the port side is a wrapping settee and a coffee table. When you face the starboard side, you have a clear view of her high-low TV. Forward of the TV is the captain's desk, which is where the living half of the Sky Lounge transforms into the helm. With a pair of stid seats facing the helm, the captain has great visibility. There are three glass monitors across the top, the center screen being loaded with Noble Tech navigation software. On the port side, we can view the ship's exterior with this camera that rotates 360 degrees. Below, she has a stabilizer control, bow thruster, Simrad autopilot, and engine throttle controls. Our last stop on board is the bridge deck aft, which is the coolest space on this yacht. All of the way aft is a davit with open space just in front of it, currently arranged with lounge chairs. Forward on the port side, we have a grill. And then just beyond that is the jacuzzi. This leads forward to a large U-shaped dinette with seating for eight around a hardwood table. Facing the starboard side, we see her wet bar. It's got a sink, ice maker, and four bar stools. Thank you so much for joining us on today's walkthrough of this 96 Hargrave delivered in 2005. If you want a spec sheet or you have any questions about the boat, feel free to reach out to Kurt Bossart at any time.